Good day, everyone. It's great to be here today. Dear friends, please raise your hands if you think that the personal data is the core element of your risk assessment systems. We gathered the juicy score team in order to challenge the value of personal data and personal direct identifiers. And today we have two messages for you. The value of non-personal data proved to be extremely powerful in the number of cases. And second message, we developed a platform that consists of the number of SDKs that is not relying on personal data at all. My name is Pavel, and let me introduce my colleagues, Andrew and Alexander, who are going to present for you today. Thank you, Pavel, and good day to everyone. And let us introduce our Juicy Score risk management platform, which consists of a number of elements, such as SDKs for web and mobile, our API with a data vector, and BI functionality. And today we will show how all these components work together in a real online application process from both lenders and borrowers' side. And now let's try to get the loan online. The phone, please. So here is the mobile application of the generic lender. This application contains uh, the embedded Juicy Score and Juicy Bio SDKs for risk assessment purposes. So I'm filling in credentials to log in, choose loan parameters. The phone number field is present, but that is as it is not required, I will skip it and let's press the button to proceed. So the loan application has been sent to the lender. Seamless to the applicant, the Juicy Score SDK has collected the number of non-personal data fields which were used for device and user authentication and for generating the output data vector which will feed lenders, decision engine and models. And now we'll show you how the regular risk assessment process can be enriched with some biometry data. In general, we do not think that biometry is always mandatory, but as the applicant tries to get the loan from the uncommon location and time zone, this step is more than recommended. So, we were authenticated and evaluated by Juicy Score, and now it's time for Juicy Bio, and the request for photo has been activated, and I am uh, making a selfie. Okay, and now it's time to take the picture of my ID, which will be compared and checked versus my selfie. The most important thing here is that Juicy Bio SDK is processing biometry data. Oops, okay, it's not recognized, let's try again. Okay, good. So, uh, the Juicy Score SDK is processing biometry data in a secure way on the end user side, so no pictures leave this device. And now, let's have a look at the overall risk assessment results. So, we have got three figures. The device score shows the measure of risk based on the device data analysis. The higher the score, the higher the risk. The match rate shows the quality of matching, including our liveness definition approach. The higher the rate, the better the quality of matching. And the overall score on the top shows the overall risk assessment metric based on both device and biometry data. The score 0 0.5 means high risk, so uh, you cannot give the loan. Uh, the classic biometry and these uh, image-based descriptors empowered with device authentication are providing much higher accuracy. The idea is very simple. As long as you can observe the same virtual user on the same device with the same behavioral biometry, the overall risk assessment model becomes more and more robust. Moreover, in many cases, this is enough to make the final decision on the online application for financial product. And now, we'll show how we support the risk management process from the lender's side. Here is the client account, which provides access to the tools, for, uh, which consist of wide benchmarking monitor and numerous juicy score attributes and metrics. This is the demo account, but the client data is real. So the first uh, two charts on the top provide access to the tools to uh, assess the quality of online application inflow, reflected on the right chart, and to compare it with the competition on the left chart. The remaining uh, tool is used for monitoring risk metrics 
So the risk manager can dive into more details of uh, various uh, juicy score attributes and to define the risk metrics uh, tangible for the lender. If you look on the chart, you can see several peaks on number of dates. That means uh, that some fraudulent activity occurred. In practice, that means that the risk manager can use this data for establishing the rules to adjust the online application inflow and to set up the risk-based cutoff levels. We launched Juicy Score Risk Management as a service to establish the state of arts for digital risk management. We put together the robust device authentication technologies, the power of non-personal data together with biometry-based image descriptors, and the highly functional client account to support the whole risk management process. In addition to that, we still keep caring about the end user security, which improves the decision making process and makes it more reliable for a financial institution and makes it uh, safer and more friendly for a consumer. We made a long digital journey from the uh, fraud prevention tool to a risk management solution, which observes over than 10 million of online events per day on dozens of financial institution web resources at multiple geographies. So join us to make the online financial world more protected and to make online lending more efficient as a business and more attractive for a client. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to meeting you near our booth. Thank you.